I'm your Fox 47 neighborhood reporter, Darius Udris, and I'm standing in front of Michener Plating on Mechanic Street, an industrial site so contaminated that the federal government is stepping in. Environmental Protection Agency officials were in Jackson on Thursday to brief the community about what has been done and still needs to be done to clean up. Michener Plating, they made old seatbelt buckles so shiny. It also must have made head spin when Jackson County took possession of the building in 2015 due to unpaid taxes and discovered more than a thousand drums of toxic chemicals. So EPA um, conducted a removal action to remove those drums from the site and Eagle began the process of doing some initial soil and groundwater sampling at this site. EPA remedial project manager Rose Gardino says the test turned up all sorts of contamination. Chlorinated volatile organic compounds, metals, per and polyfluoral alkyl substances or PFAS. In 2022, Michener plating was added to the EPA's national priorities list, making it eligible for federal cleanup funding. This site is still so toxic that according to owner of nearby Lehmanstall Services, Rob Lehmanstall, firefighters have told him that if the building catches fire, they will not douse it so as not to create runoff into the Grand River. At Thursday's meeting, we learned the EPA's efforts are now in what's called the remedial investigation phase to determine more specifically what contaminants are present so a cleanup plan could be made. Some in attendance were surprised the process is taking so long. You're waiting 10 years to see what the research shows is the impact on the community. And I don't know, I feel like that should really be addressed when you're doing a community uh, forum. EPA representatives reminded participants that federal funding was made available for this cleanup only in 2022, after Michener plating was added to the agency's national priorities list. Comprehensive testing will begin this fall. In your neighborhood, I'm Darius Udris, Fox 47 News.